Hey guys, what's up? I don't usually do this, but um, from now on, I'm going to start um, doing my hot roster picks. Um, if you don't already know, if you don't already follow him or subscribe to him, uh, go subscribe to him because he really got me into this. Um, his name is Chris Gonzalez on YouTube. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. But um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, go subscribe to him. He'll really help you a lot as long as myself. So, um, first I'm going to do four safe picks today for hot roster. Um, usually in the, the safe, the safer picks are down at the bottom. Usually at the top is more of the like superstars. So I'm not gonna mess with that today. So, um, I'm not gonna mess uh, with this because Brook Lopez can have a good game or he can have a bad game. Same with Batum. Didn't show up the other night. He hasn't been playing that well. Well, he he's he he's been playing okay. Then he had a couple really good games and then just. Blew it the other uh, last game, but this is I think it's a safe pick. I'm going on uh, Darren Collison over Thaddeus Young. Thaddeus Young scores about 20, 25 a game, and Collison is always in the 30s. Um, I'm gonna go Andrew Wiggins versus the Suns. It's gonna be a high scoring game. He usually scores from like 25 to 30, even 40. He's, he has his upside's 40. Um, and Joe Johnson, he's been playing terrible, so let's go Wiggins. Um, this right here, Bogut is out and Iguodala is out, so that could mean Ibaka could have a good game because it's not as much defense playing down low, but I like Horford more, he's playing the Raptors, they're not very good against bigs, so I don't know if, I don't say that's a safe pick, but you might want to consider that one. I'm um, not going to mess with this game, this one. Not gonna mess with this game because Kevin Love, he's hurt. He had back spasms last night. Dirk. Well, Dirk, um, he's been up and down, so I'm not playing that game. I'm not doing this either because uh, you never know with these two, uh, so I'm not playing that. Fareed and Plumley, I'm not playing that either. Fareed. He's you. You'd want to pick him. He's been doing really good, but Plumlee's also doing good. But every time I pick against Plumlee, he uh, he wins. So I'm not picking that one. Oladipo and Dragic, not really a safe pick, but I'd probably go Oladipo. But then again, Dragic is playing the Timberwolves, and Timberwolves are terrible. So that's not a safe pick either. Oladipo has to carry the low because Tobias Harris is, has been out, but he's playing the Grizzlies, who are really good against defense. But they have lacked. Um, Against shooting guard this season. Um, where else do I want to go? Right here. I think Gasol will have a better game than Teague. Uh, Raptors defense is pretty okay. And last time Gasol played the Celtics, he went for 58 fantasy points. So I'm going to say Gasol's a safe pick. Um, over here, I would go Zebo over Bosch. The King, uh, Bosch is playing the Kings. DeMarcus Cousins... Um, He's pretty good. Um, and then Zeebo's playing the Magic, who are really bad against uh, power forwards and centers. So you could pick uh, Zeebo on that one. Now here I'm going Tyreek Evans. Anthony Davis is out. Andrew Holiday's out. So you might want to... Tyreek Evans is going to gonna carry the load. Derek Favors is playing the Lakers, but I just feel like Evans is going to have a better game. Um... Now up here, I'm picking Cousins over LeBron. Cousins has had what, like three back-to-back sixty-point games, and uh, LeBron's in the forty-five range, lower. So I'm gonna say Cousins is a safe pick. Curry and Durant. I'm gonna say Curry has a better game. A um, couple people are out, and he does all the scoring for that team. Most uh, him and Clay, but he does a lot more. Kevin Durant has kind of been on a slump lately. And Warriors play, play really good defense, so I'm gonna. I would take Curry. <clears throat> I don't say that's a safe pick, but I'd take Curry. Uh, Blake Griffin and Westbrook. I'm not messing with this game. Cavs are horrible against defense. I mean, horrible on defense, but so Blake Griffin could have a 50 point game, and Westbrook, um, he could have a 50 point game. He could have a 60 point game, but you never know with him because he just, I don't know, 
that. You never know. He's unpredictable. Um, Aldridge, Aldridge and Chris Paul. I'd probably say Chris Paul because he's playing the Cavs, and anybody who's playing the Cavs, you want to run to their point guard because Kyrie Irving cannot play defense at all. So I'd run with uh, Chris Paul. And Tim Duncan is a pretty tough matchup. So, um, moving down the list. Oops. Lowry and Lawson. I'm going to stay away from that one. Staying away. Vucevic and Wall. I would say Vucevic has a better game because Harris is out again, and Vucevic has been carrying the load. He scored 250 back-to-back -back games. Wall against the Nets, he's going to have a good game, but I just don't think he has a better game than Vucevic. Um, Marcus on Damian Lillard. I'm staying away from this one. Magic has been terrible against centers. Damian Lillard can go off at any 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 game, so I'd probably say uh, I don't know. Last time he played the Spurs, he went off, so I'm staying away from that one. Michael Carter Williams and Eric Bledsoe. Mm, that's another tough one. Bledsoe can go off at any minute. Timberwolves are terrible against D. Drew um Drew Holiday's out, so Pelicans are already top. Bottom 10 in versus point guard. So, Mike Carter Williams can have 35 game, even a 40 point game. So, I'm staying away from that one. Gordon Hayward and Tim Duncan also staying away from this one because Tim Duncan can, is, has upside of 50. Gordon Hayward usually has upside of 40, but he's playing the Lakers, so you never know. And Tim Duncan is having a tough, does have a tough matchup, but it should be a good close game. Um, Paul Mills have a Monte Ellis. Monte Ellis, right? I don't know why he doesn't have a picture. But Monte Ellis, I would probably pick Millsad. Last game, Monte Ellis threw up a dud, and that was with Rondo out and uh, Dirk out and Chandler out. He so he was he had to carry the load, and he didn't do anything with it. So I'd pick Millsad. Definitely pick Millsad. And he's playing um, Toronto. Is bad against uh, Bigs. So let's pick him. Clay and Rose, I uh, pick Rose. Celtics are one of the worst teams against po uh, point guards, and it's going to be a fast-paced game. This should also be a fast-paced game, but Clay Thompson scores like 25, 30s. I pick Rose. Rondo and Drummond. Um, Rondo was out last game, so I don't know how good he's going to play. He was questionable, but I think he's going to play tonight. Andre Drummond, he's just on and off. You can't trust Drummond, so I wouldn't trust any of these two. Irving and Butler. Uh, I would probably say Ir probably say Butler because the Celtics are bad again. And you're going to have Chris Paul guarding Ir Irving. And Irving, ever since LeBron came back, hasn't been playing like he used to. Like he usually was when LeBron was out. So I would probably take Butler. And, well, that's my picks for tonight. Um, hope I helped you. Hope you can win. Um, if you this video helps you out, give me a thumbs up. Uh, let me know how you did at the end of the night. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.